Hi, I'm Jennifer Branch. Today we're going to celebrate the 4th of July with painting a beach portrait. I hope some of y'all get to go to the beach and paint your family and friends. Let's paint. I am using Twin Rocker paper. I thought you'd like to see some of the mixing going on on my palette. It's just great paper with a wonderful texture. So with the mop brush, I'm able to get a lot of hit and miss strokes and exciting things going on that I barely have to work for, which is always nice. So I'm using a little bit of the Quinn Rust mixed with a tiny bit of the Cobalt Violet. And there's going to be a live mixing going on on this. So I do show you my palette most stages of the way. Um, now we're getting into the beach scene. Isn't it lovely? So I'm just letting my brush kind of dance around and play with this. Lots of hit and miss strokes, lots of different colors all mixed together to have that shimmery, what or um you know it's it just it seems so many layers when you're out there looking at the water you see the sand underneath and you see the highlights on the sand from the sun and then there's the highlights on the surface of the water and then kind of the watercolor and you know just at those basic things you're talking four different things Four different colors and then you get into well what if the ang the wave is angled towards a shadow and there's just a lot going on so don't get nervous about this notice I'm doing this in layers I'm building up very slowly in layers here's the shadow this is my son Edwin by the way when he was a kid so I've been wanting to paint this for some time it's always fun um, where his um, reflection, remember reflections always go directly towards you and you don't really see his shirt's blue, but you don't really see that. You just see kind of some, some light colors there from the shorts and the skin and the hair, but there really isn't too much, just kind of a golden glimmer in the water. Um, but you're building this up very slowly in layers. And I don't let it dry too much in between with the Twin Rocker. It's, you know, in reasonable conditions. It's not too hard to just keep on painting and have it partially dry, but not all the way, so you get the layers. Now, starting on the face shadows, and notice that I pulled some color in there. I'm using a lot of cadmium red, some, so I want some bright colors. And I'm just going into the shadows because the rest of it is bright highlights. Um, I'm just pulling, all I'm doing is painting the big block shadow areas, just like you do in an oil portrait. You do the same thing in watercolor. You paint the big block shadows, leaving the differences, you leave the highlights. And in oil, you go into it with, you know, white or a light color at least and a lighter color. And here we leave it because we can't get that transparent see back. And I'm throwing in a little bit of cobalt teal just for that bright green color um, reflecting from the water. A little bit of brightness and shadows on his ears and the little dimple beside his mouth. He had such a grin on him this day. I love going back and painting these older ones that I always mean to get to, but it's hard. So this is all the shadow area. So it's a very bright shadow. It's afternoon at the beach and very, very different shadow and highlight and really no mid-tones. We're painting them, but really there aren't that many mid-tones in the beach. So the shadow definite on his ear, and that has a little bit of red on it because it's a tiny bit backlit. And then the shirt, it was navy, so ultramarine blue, a little bit of cobalt violet, that does it. And this is why I thought it'd be fun for the 4th of July, as it says USA on it. 
which you can't see that well, but still, 4th of July, beach, it goes together perfectly. And he's holding a little bag with um, shells in it. So I went ahead and painted that, even though y'all won't know what that is, I do, and obviously I'm keeping this one because it goes on my hall with all my portraits and memories. And this is just a little one. It's a six inch by eight inch. I try, if it possibly works for it, I try to keep most of the portraits of my children pretty small um, because I wouldn't have room for all of them otherwise. <laughs> So little cargo shorts and really all the distinction on that is a couple highlights and this is the Quinn Rust muted with the cobalt violet again and it's the silhouette of the little pocket flaps. Not a lot of detail. Just shadow highlight. Keep it simple. I am using a tiny brush, but it is a tiny painting, and there's a little bit more detail in there with the face. It's kind of a fine line with portraits. You don't want too much detail, but if you don't have enough to make it look like who you want it to be, then there's not much point. So just mostly shadow in there, and I want it to blur a little. Now, portraits are one thing that you need to get the drawing right. It, it's not going to look like the person if you don't have the basic shape of the person's face. And it really is the shapes of the person's face that you're painting, not as much the, um, not as much the individual features, but are the cheeks round? Are they hollow? Are, is it a square jaw? Is it a thin jaw? How does the hair lie? All those sort of things, um, that's what makes a person look like a person, not are the eyelashes long enough. We don't even see the eyelashes in most portraits, even big ones, not itty bitty ones. I wouldn't like to paint the eyelashes on this. I would need a smaller brush than I own. I think the smallest I have is a double lot. Just a little bit of shadow there. and shaping around that bag full of shells that was so precious. I believe he was about two, two or three, probably three. And he's 10 now, so he's changed quite a bit, but he still has the same smile when he has a bag full of shells at the beach. By the way, obviously I'm standing out in the water taking a photograph, um, but painting, sketching at the beach, it's one of the most fun things to do. Just make sure that you are prepared to get sand in your palette and your brushes and salt as well. So rinse everything when you finish, you know, take a limited palette, rinse it off when you're done. Don't bring your huge stack of nice paper, bring a nice little journal that's going to get beat up and look better for it. So his hair is just all over the place, you know, with the wind blowing at the beach. So I'm painting it all over the place, which means highlight, shadow, highlight, shadow. You know, not so much of the mid-tones. Yeah, a journal is perfect at the beach. That's what I took on my last beach trip. So I'm just building up these layers and very messy hair and 
kind of doing a little bit on the, I, I don't want too much detail, so I'm doing the strokes for the little shadows in between fingers, and then I'm blurring them a little with my finger. And I don't want every single finger distinguished there. I just want the idea he's holding it back. That's all it has to be. So I'm pulling a little bit more color into the face. A little bit under the nose, and there's a lot of cadmium reds in here. I've dulled them slightly, as you saw on the palette, but it's still a lot of reds and then the cool reflections. And I really don't want any detail to end up on the shadow side of the face. So I'm painting a lot of it. Now, isn't that cool how the, just doing the ears makes the, the head go round? That's true in any portrait. It's, it's a really fun moment. Ears are very distinctive. And they're one thing that don't change very much with age. So a tiny bit... Oh, it's very, very delicate right where the the eyelashes are because his, his um, eyes are closed. Just tiny little strokes here. This is very fussy for me, but it's a little, little painting. So you have to be a little bit more fussy on little paintings, right? More shadow. Have to show how the hair is really blowing in the wind. Mixing a couple colors together. Now that I have gotten the figure roughed in, I can build up the layers of the ocean a little bit more. So always work, continue to work around a painting. And you'll notice you don't want to get something like the ocean too heavy to start with. You just want the idea of it. And, but you don't want your strongest darks because your most contrast needs to be around the figure, not the rest of it. Some bright red for under the chin, that shadow there. This one was interesting because the neck was very brightly highlighted. So. And usually the neck is in shadow and the chin is, but the chin was the darker one here. So always look at what you're painting. Just tiny little shadows. And here's the finished portrait. I hope this inspired you to your next beach trip, do a couple little sketches in your journal portraits and have some real fun painting the water and your loved ones. I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July weekend if you're in the United States and a wonderful weekend everywhere in the world. If you have want more information, please visit my website, paintingwatercolor.com. Thank you very much for watching. Happy painting.